Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. We're freaking out. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. I'm scared. I've never been in a situation like this before. This is Gina Soleil, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it. I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high. And she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Lindsay and Victor. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. What? Body, body, body. Serving God is everything to me. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? It's your daughter's wedding? Get up. You're the piper. I dance to your command. Oh. May the best mom win. Lindsay and Victor are deeply in love and madly busy. Family's important to me. Um, yeah. That's why I wake up in the morning. That's why I go to work. That's why I come home. <laughs> Everything revolves around our children. They're amazing little blessings. Let's get this cleaned up so we can get ready for bed, OK? They're our joys, <laughs> our motivators, and our strength. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're each other's sanity. <laughs> Nap time. No more noise. Okay. I fell in love with Lindsay the first time I met her. Um, I looked at her eyes, and as soon as I saw, I kind of knew that she had something special and that we potentially could do some amazing things together. I knew I loved him when he first offered me a ride and he offered me water. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never experienced like anybody that was so like generally concerned for my thirst. Because it was like every single time I got I in his car, so he always had a drink for me, whether it was like, you know, water, then he found out I liked iced tea, so then he'd always have an iced tea for me. And I was just like, oh, he does care. I proposed to Lindsay at our old apartment. I had our son, Micaiah, kind of um, walking a ring over to her. And then she came around the corner trying to figure out what it, what is this about. And I was on one knee, and she was in tears. And it was a <laughs> really, really special moment for us. A house full of kids and the idea of marriage has not made a wedding. Our life is crazy busy. It's just no way that planning a wedding is possible just due to the fact that our hands are full. We <laughs> have no experience. <laughs> we are underqualified. We need help. <laughs> I'm here to meet Lindsay and Victor. I can make their wedding day happen, but they have to agree to my terms. I know you want to tie the knot, but obviously you don't have any time. None. <laughs> well, I'm here to make your wedding happen. OK. There is one condition. You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything, the wedding dress, the wedding decor, to one of your mothers. What? Uh, can I at least choose the store where we buy the dress from? No. I'd have some challenges with that. I love my mother. I love uh, my mother-in-law. But mm -hmm. to have no control over it, it would be challenging, definitely. Well, with your busy lives, this could be the only way to get down the aisle together. She has a point. I do want this for the kids. I want this for us. I need your answer. What's it going to be? OK. All right, we can do this. You're going to do it? We're going to do this, this, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Good boy. I don't like making decisions on the fly. So this can go wrong because of the fact that we had to make such a quick decision. And being a mother, I like to be in control of everything. So this is going to take a lot for me to let go of. They're a sweet couple. And uh, I know that they want to get married. They seem excited. But I don't think they know what they're in for. Meet the moms. Lindsay's mom, Cynthia, is reserved, religious, and believes strongly in her convictions. Serving God is everything to me. My mom doesn't date. My mom doesn't drink. She doesn't dance. She's very focused on the church and her gardening. Oh, my babies. I love nature. I love to walk. I love the outdoors. Organic gardening is my passion. She's not in the church. She's gardening. She's not gardening. She's in the church. My training is as a secular counselor. Unfortunately, in our society, there's a lot of talking, but uh, people are just dying to have someone to listen. 
Victor's mom, Gloria, is vibrant and full of life. I'm a fun, joyful person. I love music, I love to dance, I like to entertain, I cook. I slept all day for this dinner. My house is always filled with people, my grandchildren, my family. I'm just really overall a flamboyant, loving person. My mother, Gloria, is very social. She's always the first on the dance floor for any events and probably the last to leave. <laughs> These mothers have nothing in common. Cynthia lives a very solitary, different life to me. She likes to party. Very conservative, I would say. And drink. She's quite intimate with the Lord. She's more uh, lenient. Cynthia is the only Jamaican Caribbean woman whom I know still gardens in the winter. Ideas on how to make a beautiful wedding bloom are as different as the people involved. I envision the wedding to be very fun and colorful and vibrant. I want to really ensure that everyone that's present understands the principles and precepts of my ancestors and that the wedding and our marriage is rooted in tradition. I think that our wedding should be more of a party than a tool to educate people. <laughs> my vision for Victor and Lindsay's wedding would be to have a big Caribbean wedding. We want to concentrate on the religious aspect of this wedding. A joyful occasion. Traditional African Christian wedding. Lots of party, dancing, lots of music. I do not want it to be a big party. It's not about partying. The wedding's gonna be on a boat. Both the ceremony and the reception will be held at the church. The decor must be Caribbean. Lots of color, flowers. The decor for the wedding is um, very natural. So the sunset, the water, oh, all that's gonna give us just the Caribbean feeling. No. I want Lindsay's dress to be out of this world. Lindsay's dress will be uh, very modest. Something really glamorous, something that portrays her personality with lots of frills, sequins. African lace with the head wrap. I want a wedding that I'll remember forever, not a wedding that I want to forget. It's time for Gina to get everyone together to lay down the rules. I brought you here to explain the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. No sweat. I will present both visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. There's no way I'm going to be anybody's assistant. Thank That's you. what you think. My daughter is not going to let me down. I think I have this one in the bag, Glory. Oh, I've got mom, this one in the bag. I hate to bust your big bubble, but my <laughs> son loves me dearly. You're his mother, but I'm the mother-in-law. Right, son-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, you're in the hot seat, my son. <laughs> I'm confident that um, I will come up with something that my daughter will be blown away by. I know that my vision is going to be better than Cynthia's, and I know it's going to be lots of fun. Glad to hear that I will be having an assistant. May the best mom win. Okay. So staying out of this one. Our mothers are very strong and Definitely. independent and take charge kind of women. So for them to have to play second fiddle and fall back to somebody else's lead, I don't think it's going to be very pretty. <laughs> We're in for some fireworks with this family. There is no room for sexy dancing or wild drinking at my daughter's wedding. Cynthia, stay in your garden. This wedding is going to be one hot party. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Lindsay and Victor choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. I feel what's most important about the wedding is the party. I'm afraid if my mom plans a wedding, she will literally suck the life right out of it. There won't be any dancing or drinking or partying. Do you need any help? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking for a head tie. It's important for me to show the traditional African elements of my vision. It's That's a... beautiful, thank you, yes. It's gonna be a hard choice, huh? Come to deal, huh? We can work out a deal. <laughs> I love this one the most. Like a true African princess. Okay. But you look beautiful. I think that if my mother plans the wedding, 
it'll be um, very much focused on entertainment and having fun, which is ideal. But in some instances, I think that the ceremony and the purpose behind the wedding and the marriage is critical. And anyone attending should see that. I'm planning this amazing wedding for my son. You happen to be, I think, the only one I noticed with the bird of paradise, which is what yes, I would yes. really like to That's have great. for the wedding. I love flowers, I love color, and the bird of paradise brings out that sort of image of myself and what I would like to see for the wedding. Yeah. Oh, these are perfect. Really, the ideal colors. There you are. Look how so pretty they are. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Time's up. The moms have to show their stuff. Gina! Hi, Gina. Thank you. Cynthia, what is your vision? Traditional African spiritual wedding. Big Caribbean, fun, loving, beautiful party. Her dress will be made of this traditional African lace. I just want her to have a fantastic dress, a beautiful dress. I want it to be big. I want it to have lots of beads, <laughs> the bows. And this is the headdress. She deserves something really pretty. To highlight her beauty. I love this fabric. One of those birds of paradise at the back of the chair, which would form as a bow. The venue will be decorated with trees and living plants. What is the venue? I would really love it to be a boat cruise. The boat concerns me. We would have to have a perfect weather day. Everything is going to happen inside the church. Everything will be done on the boat. This is a religious-based ceremony, focused and centered on the Bible. The minister will come aboard, perform his ceremony, and she or he will be partying with us. Have you thought about making the reception a little more of a party type atmosphere? No. Hot music, having fun. You cannot have boozing. How about sampling my lovely rum punch? You cannot have wanton worldly dancing. Go for it, the soca. Not at my daughter's wedding. <laughs> the next step is putting all of this together, making it very polished, very professional, and showing it to Lindsay and Victor. Thank you, Gina. I know that the children will love my concept. I'm hoping that Lindsay and Victor will see that my vision for the wedding is the best vision. This is a very religious couple, but this is a couple that loves life. And each mom is doing something very different. I know it's going to be so hard for the couple to choose. Lindsay and Victor arrive to see what their moms have come up with for their wedding. Unknown to the couple, both their moms are backstage watching and listening to everything. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. Cynthia's theme is a traditional African religious wedding. She wants to fill the church with plants, trees, twigs, earth tones. A traditional wedding dress made of African lace. I love it. I think it's beautiful. You and your bridesmaids will be wearing traditional African head wraps. Very pretty. I oh. knew they would love the headdress. No. They have taste. Oh, please. <laughs> Please. They have culture. The reception will also be at the church. I think it's an amazing church. If we do choose this theme, I'm all for it. The music will be traditional African drummers. I love that. Ooh, I love that. The djembe is very critical in regards to our community and how we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. so. Now, there will be no DJ at the wedding. No DJ? <laughs> the drummers will be able to do a good job. I trust the drummers will do a good job, but they still need a DJ. I can't believe she wants a DJ at her wedding. It's not a party. Yes, it's a wedding party. It's not a party. A wedding is a religious service. service. There will be no alcohol at the reception. None? What do you mean, no booze? The spirit in us is what gets a marriage going, oh, not no. the spirit in your glass. I think that the spiritual aspect of the wedding is very important to me, especially the ceremony. And alcohol has been a tool to oppress my community for many years. So I don't mind it not being present. I think that um, it's a good thing. Perfect, right on. Oh my goodness. Right on. Are you ready to see presentation number two? Yes. You're old fashioned. Come on, get with it, Cynthia. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. That's beautiful. 
glorious vision is a wild Caribbean party wedding. It looks like it's gonna be a good time. You got it, Lindsay. I'm concerned about the wild <laughs> in the theme. It kind of takes away from the ceremony for me. Come on, Victor, now. Well, I don't like the orange. I like purple and gold, but I'm not too sure about orange. Cupcakes made from Caribbean fruit cake instead of a traditional wedding cake. Oh, I love that. Lots and lots of rum punch. <laughs> so there will be liquor at this wedding. The ceremony and reception will take place on a boat. I love the ceremony being on a boat. I love the ceremony having rum punch. I love the colors. I love, I love, I love. Your dress, a sparkly, extravagant dress fit for a Caribbean queen. The entertainment for this wedding, Caribbean dancers and a DJ. Mm, I like that. I would love to incorporate the djembe of the African drums somehow. But you're in a position where you have to choose either all of the elements from this or all of the elements from that. I definitely want the Caribbean dancers and the DJ. That's going to be a good time. It's going to be a party atmosphere. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, I think that my mom's um, wedding seems very extravagant and beautiful, but it takes away from the ceremony and the ritual for me. Oh, no. Come on, come on son-in-law. Oh, come on, no, my son-in-law. You both seem very torn. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Take some time to really think about the choice you're going to make. I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. Cynthia and Gloria are cut off from listening in, while Lindsay and Victor decide which mom's wedding vision is the winner. I love this cupcake. It's so pretty. I don't like the cupcakes at all. I think we need a formal cake. I love it. I think it's cute. Oh, and I love the smell of the fruits. Yeah, that is nice. I just don't like the rum. Do you make a rum punch? Like, how to have that at a wedding? Yeah, the It has to flow from like a fountain. Everyone's drunk. <laughs> yes. No. The dancing, the DJ, the rum punch, the purple and gold. I could see this. Let's see the other one. I love the jumbe. 15 brothers and sisters drumming. It'll be nice. It'll be wholesome. 15 brothers and sisters drumming for like 15 minutes. If there's no drumming at the wedding, it doesn't make sense. If there's no DJ, it doesn't make sense. How many weddings have multiple African drummers drumming? I think it's unique, it's innovative, and it's relevant. I think your mom's vision is exactly what we need for our wedding. I disagree. The rum's the issue to me. It sets a negative tone for our marriage. I don't want everyone liquored up on a special day that's sacred. I don't know what we're gonna do. Just thinking about how fast I have to come to a decision, and it's, um, it's a little bit frustrating. I'm scared. I've never been in a situation like this before. I don't know what we're going to do. Have you made a decision? We have come to a decision reluctantly. It's been very hard, and... Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <laughs> I knew you I knew you I all with love. <laughs> Victor, let them know what decision we picked. Um, it was very challenging to decide which wedding. We love both of the dynamics. So it was a very difficult decision to appease the overall um, flavor of the day, to ensure that folks enjoyed themselves. We chose your wedding one. to be a winner. Ah, gonna have a party! <laughs> I am beyond words. I'm speechless. Seriously, the drumming, I wanted the wedding. I worked so hard, and now you go. I was counting on you, too. I was counting on you, Victor. I was mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate the work you did. I really okay. feel bad, and I wish we could have had both. You made the wrong decision. I'm sorry, Mom. Definitely, we're sorry. I bet you are. I am un... Believably, I cannot describe how disappointed and surprised I am that my daughter's wedding will not be in a church. I hope somehow it will be blessed, and I hope it will be legal. Congratulations, Gloria. Thank you very much. And Cynthia, you're Gloria's wedding assistant. It's going to be interesting. All right, moms, we have one week to pull this wedding together. Let's get to work. Party, party, party! Uh, my mom will definitely not have a problem bossing around Cynthia. Um, I think there might be an issue there. Drinking and partying and dancing is not going to win out over God, church, and tradition. Gloria has a fight on her hands. I think we have a true war here. 
Gloria brings Cynthia to audition live entertainment for the wedding. Bring out the first dancer. What? Are you crazy? What is this? It's to just get people in the mood, my Cynthia. Dear, do I have to uninvite my pastors and my ministers and oh, everyone in my church? pastors, please, Cynthia. Beautiful dancer, do your thing. You can do your thing, but this is the last time you're doing your thing because you won't be doing your thing at my daughter's wedding. That's what you think, Cynthia. I'm the boss here, you're the assistant. What I say goes, if I say we're having dancers, we're having dancers. Okay, we will see. Are you out of your mind? This is talent. This is what they present to your son at his, his bachelor party. You do not bring this to a dignified, spiritual, to the wedding. What does it take away from the sacredness of the wedding to have dancers? Dancing is an art, Cynthia. Cynthia, dancing is something that people do to be joyful. And they must be naked. They must be half naked. Nakedness is beauty. That's art, Cynthia. Your family will be the only people at this ungodly Sodom and Gomorrah thing that you're planning. Oh, Cynthia, light now. How am I gonna choose? All these girls, they were so amazing. I really have a lot of fasting and praying to do. Oh, I think Cynthia is just feeling sorry for herself because I won the vision for the wedding and she's not cooperating at all. I still cannot believe that this is this is real. You girls were amazing. I like every one of you. We'll have all four. Are you crazy? We cannot have all four. This is borderline pornography. We will be having the dancers, Cynthia. You're in. <laughs> She's a conservative lady. I'm going to break that out of her on the wedding night. I'll have her boogieing down the floor. This entire wedding has been turned from a beautiful ceremony into a giant sin. Sin or not, time is running out and there's a wedding dress to be bought. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. Lindsay has handed over full control to her mother-in-law. And whatever dress Gloria chooses, she's going to have to wear it on her wedding day. I'm looking for elegance, almost like a princess. These are all so beautiful. Look at it, Cynthia. What do you think? Does my opinion matter? Cynthia, All come of on. these dresses are sleeveless. No sleeve, I nothing on top I have actually compromised. I'm giving you a one shoulder. What else do you want? I don't like anything here. All you do is you keep negative, negative, sit down. Because you're turning my daughter's wedding into a burlesque show. I don't know what is the matter with Cynthia. You know, some people, you give them a little power and they just let it go to their head. And the bride has to look sexy for her husband. Are we planning the honeymoon or the wedding? This is the wedding ceremony. Do you want your daughter to look like an old woman going to church? Lindsay is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, amazing. What's it look like? It's lovely, it's beautiful, trust me. Mom, what do you think? The color is lovely, Lindsay. That's about the only thing. This is how a bride looks on a wedding day, Cynthia. Come on. If this beautiful dress had some covering, her arms and her shoulder, it could not be beautiful. Get with it, this is the 20th century. What is wrong with her? Did she think that Lindsay is entering the convent on her wedding day? I'm tired of you just sitting back, finding fault. You get up. It's your daughter's wedding, get up. You're the piper, I dance to your command. Yes, dance to Sit my down. music, it's just my vision. Get up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, get yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma I'm up. Get I now have your permission to participate. Oh, fine, let me take her into the change room 
and put her in the next dress that you chose. Fine, it's my time to take a break. Give your mouth a break. I feel like my moms don't even care that I'm here. They're just too worried about this competition and it's not even about me or my wedding dress. Let you look like a dignified bride. Does it go with the dress? Of course. Would I choose something that don't go with the dress? What about my hair? You trust me, don't you? Yeah, I just wish I could see it. You know that mother-in-law of yours, she thinks having power means she has to be a dictator. Finally, a touch of class. What Finally. is this on Lindsay's head? You're wearing a satin dress? She's covered your head with some sort of a lace bundle thing? I cannot stand by and allow Gloria to spoil this whole experience. Lindsay, if you had a mirror to see this thing, you would just run. You wouldn't Laura, stand before your a camera. mouth is giving us a headache. Cynthia just wants to dress my daughter-in-law into this African tradition outfit, and that is not my vision. Oh! <laughs> I don't care what Gloria wants. I just want what's best for my daughter. I'm gonna add some class to this wedding yet. This is really frustrating. I mean, I really wanna look good. I don't understand why my two moms can't get along. These two moms have to get along. It's time to view the wedding venue. We're going upstairs. Come, this is where, this is where you enjoy the beauty of the boat. Look at the harbor. Come on, come on, Cynthia. My eyeballs are frozen. I can't look at anything. Look at the water. I can't believe this is the best you could come up with for a venue. Oh, Cynthia, you've got tunnel vision. This is the perfect venue to replace an island cruise, Cynthia. In a Caribbean wedding, you're supposed to be 80 degrees. This is a freezing weather. You cannot be out on a boat. Lindsay and Victor, this is what they want. This is what they've chosen. Let's just make it happen for them. The fact that we're on this boat is unbelievable to me. I'm spending all of my time just dealing with Cynthia and all her idiosyncrasies other than planning a wedding. And this is what we should be focused on, planning the wedding, because the day is just crawling up upon us. You cover everything what you want to say this is what the children want. Well, we will see. What's going on with you? It's not about the boat. Something else is eating up at you. You take over. You took the power. You think you're in charge of everything. You want the party scene. I want and we are, I'm fighting for the blessing of God. Where is the church? Where is the holy place? You do not need a church to get God. Prepare to have an empty seat at my only daughter's wedding because I will not be here. I will not be partaker of this. That's it, I'm done. Gina arrives to check in on the venue and on the moms. I am done, I am out of here. Just give it I another chance, done. Cynthia. Cynthia, here. give this another chance, Cynthia. What's going on here? I'm not doing this, I quit, that's it. No altar, no life, no flowers. You can take your son and go home. I'll marry my daughter to someone else. I came so excited to show the moms the venue. They were already leaving the venue, they had already walked through it, and there was an intense fight going on. You're the one who loves my son. What the mother-in-law that comes with, with him. I'm done. Such okay, a holy mom, lady that you saying such things. Moms, please stop fighting. Let's go on the boat. I have an idea. Here, follow me. I should be spending my time on the wedding instead of just spending all my time dealing with Cynthia. I cannot work with this woman. Come on in. These moms totally have to find love for each other again, or this wedding is going to be a complete failure. Moms, we're so close to the wedding, I cannot have you two not working together. So Cynthia, I'm going to give you two things from your vision. First, I think that we should do the ceremony indoors here. You don't have to worry about weather, everyone would fit, and this looks like an altar. And Cynthia, I'm also going to allow you to have lots and lots of plants at the ceremony. Yes, thank you. This was not my vision, and this was not what you promised. Gloria, the rest will be all of you. In here, we're so enclosed. You feel it's so claustrophobic in here. It's like, it's like we're just in another venue. We have two days until this wedding. If you two do not work together, this wedding is going to be an absolute disaster. OK, Gloria. Can we work together, please? Can we compromise? You better be nice when we have to compromise. 
I will try. Okay. Okay, let's get to work. Gina's made a call and gets the plants delivered to turn this boat into Cynthia's floating Eden. Hey guys, bring everything up. This way, please. It's right over here. Beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. This represents life. Let's back a little bit. Just put it. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I can't believe that Gina is trying to compromise my vision. We're going to be stuck inside with a bunch of plants. This is beautiful. Whatever. But even with the addition of plants and an altar, Cynthia's not convinced God is here. It's been a really tough week for these moms. So I'm checking in on Lindsay and Victor to make sure that they're okay. How are things going? We're freaking out. Two days, I mean, I don't know when it's happening. I all have seen it in my mom's arguing. I can tell you that you have very, very strong-willed mothers. I would have to agree. Yeah, definitely. They're butting heads, yes, but we've gotten past it. We're moving forward, and I don't want you guys to stress out. Easier said than done not Definitely. to stress out. <laughs> I just can't see how this wedding's coming together. I mean, I wish I knew more. Like, I understand uh, completely. I, I get it. Your wedding is going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. I hope so. Your moms love you. All they want is for you guys to have a fantastic wedding. Everything is fine. And I know we only have two days left. Ooh, I yes. want to get going. OK. You guys are OK? Yeah. Better. Thank you. Better? Yes, better. OK, good. OK. Call me if you need me. We will. OK. Oh, I'm Gloria's running. back and in full party mode. She casts Cynthia's sacred ceremony aside to tend to her outdoor dance party. Gloria, oh, what are you hot. doing up here? Oh. oh, I'm just getting everything ready for dancing. I just think this is just the perfect place for dancing in the open air. The party area on the roof is going to be incredible. It's a risk. The weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be sunny, bright, plus 18. So it's just going to be just perfect. Here, let me help okay. you. Kim, let's get oh. rid of the white. Now, this is Caribbean. This is tropical. This makes me want to boogie right now. Never mind that's it. But rain showers threaten to dampen Gloria's vision. Let's stop this for now. Let the storm pass, and I will have this set up tomorrow for you. OK. OK? okay. I'm here today to help Gloria with the venue. Here, but Cynthia through. soon realizes God is taking a back seat to Gloria's big party plans. Gloria, what are you doing up there? Cynthia, this is the vision, Cynthia. I love my daughter, I do, but I don't know if I can be a part of this anymore. I never wanted to be in this stupid boat. There's no church, there's no altar, and now there's also gonna be no Cynthia. I am out of here. She's always wanted a church wedding, a church wedding is not happening, and she's just going crazy. This is what the couple wanted, and this is what they're getting. They're getting a fun outdoor wedding. She was so over the top angry that we couldn't even reason with her. Cynthia has completely freaked out on me. The rehearsal is in an hour. I just hope that Cynthia calms down and she comes back. Whether Cynthia is here or not, the show must go on. Let's work this thing out, Cynthia, for, for Victor and Lindsay's sake. Please, Cynthia, please get back to me. I'm waiting for your call. Right now, I'm trying not to be, but I'm just so disappointed. Now I don't even know what's going to happen. If we could start with Reverend Sky. It's time for the rehearsal, but Cynthia has not returned. Come on down. Great. OK, let's get going. All three of you can follow me, OK? I'll walk down nice and slow tomorrow. Continue. Perfect. And my next set. So a little more of a V here. It's perfect. Are you OK? I'm OK. You're OK? No. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, let's get married. Good job. The wedding's a day away. We're almost finished the rehearsal. There's still so much more to do, and now we have a mother of the bride that won't even show up. Now that Cynthia is not here at the rehearsal, I'm just worried that she won't show up for the wedding. All right. The ladies meet Lindsay to celebrate her last night as a single woman. Step back with your right foot, and I'll drop. Beautiful. And roll slowly. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
Gloria arrives and tells Lindsay about Cynthia's blow up at the boat. I really hope that my mom's gonna be at the wedding tomorrow. She has to come, it's the most important day of my life and I couldn't imagine it without her. The important thing now is that Cynthia is here tomorrow to share this special day with us. Lindsay calls her mom to see if she can smooth things over. Hi, Mom. Right now, I'm just trying to find out if you're coming still or... I know. I know, I know, but I'm just asking. I know, I know, but I'm just asking. Oh, my battery died. With nothing actually settled, Lindsay can only hope her mom comes around. Clearly the moms aren't even getting along, so I don't even know what I'm gonna be walking into tomorrow. I'm nervous and scared and a lot of anxiety is building up right now, so I'm pretty emotional and I don't wanna be an emotional wreck on my wedding day, but at this point I, I can't even know what to expect. Gloria still hasn't heard from Cynthia. She takes the dress to Lindsay at her boatside hotel room. Hi! Hey, on the dress! Where's your mom? Is she here? No, it's not. I'm oh, my it. goodness. We just have to get into the spirit and let's get going. This is going to be a beautiful day. I promise it's going to be beautiful. The sun's shining. Everything's really wonderful today. Come on, let's okay. get into this dress. Let's go try this. Lindsay shelves her feelings about her mom to focus on seeing her wedding dress for the first time. Can I look? Are you ready? Yes, I'm dying to see this. One, two, three, open up, Dada! <laughs> I have so much work to do, and I have no assistant, and everything's got to be done this afternoon. I love, love, love my dress. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're going to have a good day today. Everything's going to oh, be OK. Everything's going to be fine. I'm disappointed that Cynthia is not here. I know that Lindsay would love her to share that joyous moment with her. This is a beautiful dress, but there is no way I can get married without my mom showing up for this wedding. She needs to come. She needs to be here. I have faith that she'll be here. I have so much work to do and I have no assistant, and everything's got to be done this afternoon. It's a little chilly, so at the last minute, Gina and Gloria decide to have the entire wedding indoors. We have 28 more people. Oh my goodness, Gina. I can't believe this place. This is beautiful. Good. Oh, you did a good job. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Now the only thing we need is Cynthia. You want a purple dress? Oh. <laughs> There's a big smile on Lindsay's face right now, but I know deep inside her heart is breaking. Guests begin to arrive. Hi. There are seats up there, yeah. Sit anywhere you'd like. Open seating. Are you sitting back here? Yeah, that's fine. But still no sign of Cynthia. Oh my gosh. Okay, just calm down. It's, it's gonna be okay. She's gonna be here. I can't get married without my mom. It can happen like this. She needs to be here. Are we 5.30 or 6 o'clock? Oh gosh, I hope 5.30. 5 <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here, I love you. Now let's get to you married. Okay, let's go. No matter what my difference is with Gloria, I am here to support my daughter. Do you, Victor, take Lindsay? to be your wife? Yes. Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, and to keep yourself solely for her? Yes, I do. Do you, Lindsay, with this understanding, take Victor to be your beloved husband? I do. Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, and to keep yourself solely for him? I do. Lindsay, Christiana, I love you and I always will. Your love inspires me 
to be a better man, husband, and father. I will love, honor, and cherish you all the days of my life. I love you because you, <laughs> because, you know, all my faults. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you saw the light inside of me that I didn't even know it was there. And it wasn't until I met you and you ignited that flame and made me believe. <laughs> because you have that wisdom and that foresight. And that's just truly been a gift to me. And I don't know how I would have come this far without you. I love you. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may seal your union with a kiss. Send a lot of love to yeah, our mothers. Lots and lots of love. A lot of love to love our mothers. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for, for putting this together for us. We couldn't have done it without you. You guys have spent so much time on this. Like, it's unbelievable the amount of dedication you guys put towards this. And I love you from the bottom of our hearts. And we owe you big time. <laughs> Thank you. ceremony we had it inside it was still chilly outside it's been a tough couple of days for Lindsay but seeing her reaction when she saw her mom you knew that this was really going to be the happiest day of her life she's been so emotional from last night her heart was broken you saved the day Cynthia my daughter looks amazing in her dress it's a little bit revealing for my taste but she loves it she's very happy and she really looks stunning when I saw Lindsay, my heart warms. So I'm just so happy and so honored and so blessed to be here. <laughs> Even though we were inside, Gloria still got her great party. There was tons of rum drinking. She had Caribbean dancers. She really got the dream that she wanted for her son and daughter-in-law. The Caribbean dancers are downstairs. Everybody's drinking that rum punch. Oh my God, and they're having a good time and we're partying just as we planned it. It's good that everyone is partying and having a good time. I just hope that there won't be an issue when all these people have to get home. My mom's vision was amazing. turned out, I must say. I told you so. I don't want to say yes. I told you so. I won't do yes. it. Yes. However, Cynthia, I told you we were going to have a good time yes. on the boat. All yes. is forgotten. All is well. Yes. And Our Cynthia, children are married. We were happy. had a beautiful wedding, a beautiful day. It was a magical day for Lindsay and Victor.